Hello students. Today I will discuss a new topic that is insurance and classification, principles of insurance, regulatory norms, credit rating, credit rating agencies, methodology, and international credit agency advantages and disadvantages. Insurance is an instrument of distributing the loss of a few among many. Insurance is a contract by which one party for a consideration called premium assumes a particular risk of the other party and promises to pay to him or his nominee a certain or ascertainable sum of amount on a specified contingency. Classification of insurance, it can be mainly classified into two categories. One is life insurance and second one is general insurance. Life insurance, the subject mat matter of this type of insurance is human life. Most of the insurance policies are combination of savings and security. The insured is promised by the insurance company that during the tenure of insurance, in case of his death, his nominee will be paid the insurance amount. So that is the life insurance. There are so many policies of life insurance which we will discuss in the life class. Second one is that general insurance. All other types of insurance are called general insurance or non-life insurance like marine insurance that is oldest type of insurance it covers the sea or marine perils. Peril is the cause of loss or hazard which is a condition that may increase the chances of the loss. Fire insurance it covers the loss due to fire to the property like houses, shops, go, uh, goods, factories, go down etc. Liability insurance uh, it covers the risk of liability against third parties which an insurer might have to pay under certain circumstances. Uh, social insurance, this, this insurance is aimed at providing social uh, security to the weaker sections of the society and it may take the shape of pension plans, disability or sickness benefits etc. Then the next one is that uh, health insurance. So health insurance is <coughs> the general insurance industry has <coughs> issued MediClaim policy which deals with health care of individuals. So there are so many plans of health insurance later we will discuss. Next one is other insurances. All other type of general insurances can be placed under this category. Example, theft insurance, earthquake insurance, flood insurance, crop insurance, personal accident insurance, cattle, uh, livestock, guarantee insurance, etc. So this is all about the classification of insurance. Next one is principles of insurance. The concept of insurance is based on two approaches. Basic principle and second one is legal principles. So basic principle. Uh, there are two principles, principle of cooperation in which insurance can be described as highest degree of cooperation. The insurance company or insurer collects premium from large number of insured person and puts the premium in pool. Then principle of probability without premium cooperation is not possible and premium cannot be determined without playing or um, applying uh, theory of probability. Then legal principles, legal principles with the exception of principle of indemnity which is not applicable in case of personal insurance are common for all types of insurance. So first one is that principle of insurable interest. In our contract of insurance, the insured must possess an insurable interest in the subject matter. Then next one is that principle of contribution. Principle of contribution also is an offshoot of the principle of indemnity when the insured has taken more than one policy for the same subject matter against the same risk during the same period. Then principle of indemnity. Principle of indemnity is like uh, what uh, can principle of indemnity like uh, that that is uh, applicable in non life insurance only the loss due to loss of a life cannot be measured in terms of money so therefore there has to be a prior 
agreement regarding amount. However, in non-life insurance, the principle of indemnity is very important and um, as it determines the quantum of liability. Then next one is that uh, principle of utmost good faith. Uh, contracts of insurance are based on mutual trust and faith and it is a contract which requires utmost good faith. In accordance with this principle, the insured must make full disclosures regarding the material facts. The material facts in such contracts are those which are relevant for the insurer to evaluate the risk of the insured. For example, like uh, nature of the risk and character of the insured. So these are the principles of insurance. Next one is that uh, regulatory norms. As uh, we all know that insurance sector regulate by IRDA that is Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority IRDA Act 1999 Fine. So first one is Act to establish the regulatory authority. The preamble of the Act states that it is an Act to provide for the establishment of an authority to protect the interest of holders <coughs> of insurance policies to regulate, prom promote and ensure orderly growth of the insurance industry and for matters connected therewith or incidental thereto. Then second one is composition of authority. Composition like the authority cell consists of the following members, a chairperson, not more than five full-time members, not more than four part-time members. Then insurance advisory committee, section 25 of the act provides that an insurance advisory committee consisting of not more than 25 members will be constituted. So these type of um, insurance advisory committee composition and all will discuss in live class with detail and some examples. Then ending the monopoly of LIC and GIC, LIC life insurance corporation and GIC general insurance corporation. So IIDA Act have amended certain provisions of the Insurance Act 1938, LIC Act of 1956 and the General Insurance Business Act 1972 in line with first, second and third schedule of the Act. Then registration and renewable registration. So registration that is very important part of the insurance. The registration section 3 of the Insurance Act 1938 read with the IRDA registration of Indian insurance company and it provides that any applicant desires of carrying um, carrying on um, insurance business in India shall make a requisition for registration application in form IRDA so applications shall be an Indian insurance company who shall submit along with the application then applications shall be accompanied accompanied by documentary proof, evidence of having paid up equity capital, so many things. Then renewable of registration, like uh, an insurer who has been granted a certificate shall make application in form IRDA for renewal of certificate before the 31st of December each year. Then next one is that uh, licensing of insurance agent. So, Section 42 of the Insurance Act 1938 read with the IRDA. Uh, it provides that any person desiring to obtain a license to act as an insurance agent or as a composite insurance agent shall make an application to designated person in the form of IRDA. Then, power of investigation and inspection, the authority may be an order direct any person to investigate the affairs of the insurer and to report to it so these are the norms next topic is that credit rating so credit rating according to standard and poor's credit rating helps investors by providing an easily recognizable simple tool that couples are possibly unknown issuer with an informative and meaningful symbol of credit quality some features of credit rating agency that it should be specific. The rating is specific to a debt instrument or investment 
it is a intended as a grade of and an analysis of the credit risk associated with that particular instrument then relativity the rating is based on the relative capability and willingness of the issuer of the instrument then guidance the rating primarily aims at furnishing guidance to investors creditors in determining a credit risk associated with a debt instrument then um, broad parameters they having the broad parameters no guarantee as well as that it should be quantitative and qualitative nature then not a recommendation it does not provide any sort of recommendation to buy hold or sell an instrument since it does not take into consideration factors such as market prices personal risk preferences and other consideration which may influence an investment decision so you can see here that uh, history of credit rating agency first credit rating agency india was perhaps the first among these developing countries to set up a credit rating agency in 1988 that is credit rating agency risk as also there then process that ra rating request after that data gathering analysis management meetings rating committee assignment of rating advice to company institutions publications surveillance and annual review then all appeal so these are the process of credit rating agency in life class we will see these type of problems how can we calculate this then credit rating agencies in india in india we have uh, four credit rating agency first one is crisil crisil full form is credit rating information and services limited then second one is care that is credit analysis and research next one is icra that is uh, icra investment and credit rating agency then dcra dcr sorry derf and flips credit rating agency it pronounced derf and hips credit rating agency